Welcome to Author Author. My name is Sven Michael Davison and today I have a continuation with Spotlight Author Julia Claiborne Johnson. So let's hear what she has to say, shall we? I finished it after three years. It was a Wednesday night at 11 p.m. And um, <clears throat> I typed the end for the first time. I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to find out who Ann Patch's agent is and I'm going to write her a letter and she's going to take me as her client. So I looked it up, found her name of her agent at the time, wrote this woman a letter, and went to bed. That was 11. And this is where my Mademoiselle training had helped me, because I had read all those cover letters, 10,000 cover letters a year, so I knew that if your cover letter had just a spark of life, you were so thrilled, because it was rare, because people get very stiff in their cover letters, yeah. so I wrote a really funny cover letter. So um, she, anyway, the next morning I'm getting the kids off to school. It was six o'clock in the morning and I looked at my phone and she had written me back already. This is seven hours after I typed the end. So I had my phone and I was like, wait, 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 what just happened? Because I figured, you know, from my publishing experience, either I would never hear or it would be six months, if at all, you know. So after I got the kids off to school, I called her and she said, I, I want to see your manuscript, and I said, I um, finished it last night at 11, and it's a really rough first draft, and there are a lot of typos. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I don't care, I want to see it. And so I, so I sent it to her, emailed her, to her, and then it was, <clears throat> that was a Thursday. Friday, Hurricane Sandy hit New York City. People are drowning. Their houses are washing out to sea, and I'm walking around my house going, what if her iPad runs out of energy, you know? So the um, following Wednesday, which was eight days after I typed the end on that first draft, she called me and said, um, I love your novel. If you'll have me, I'd like to represent you. Wow. And I was like, okay. First, first draft, first query. First, yes. And so wow. she said, and I was so crazy, but there's a lesson in here. But anyway, she said, uh, I'm going to send it out tomorrow. And I was like, holy God. And she said, buckle your seatbelt, it's going to sell in a week. And so I was <clears throat> shaken up by that. The end of that story is it did not sell in a week. But it was okay because I had an agent, and that to me seemed like the hardest part. Yeah. And so it took me two years to rewrite it because I had kids. And so, um, and then when I rewrote it, it did sell in a week. But the lesson to be drawn here is if you're looking for an agent, just read the, you know, the books that you love, find out who their agents are and send it to them. And somebody, where I just was, I can't even remember what it was, I said read the acknowledgments because their agents are almost always in it. And I was like, oh, that would have saved so much time on the internet. <laughs> so that was unexpected, but incredibly exciting. So, yeah. And you know what's so exciting? Can I talk about me some? Because I haven't said a word about myself so far. <laughs> There's a thing called the American Booksellers Association. And um, last Friday, a week ago, my editor wrote to me and said, "The you're in the you're one of the six finalists for the um, best debut of 26." It's available in all bookstores. It's a paperback, which is super beautiful. Um, you can get it on Kindle. You can get it uh, as an audiobook. Please subscribe so my dad can make more videos like this. Thank you.